I grew up in New Rochelle at a time when Branford and Marcellus lived in the same town as me. When I was in high school, I started studying with Branford, and um, I was really excited about music at that time, and maybe less so about my academics. I ended up going to Columbia in my undergrad, and I ended up studying math and economics. And then I would spend most of my evenings out in New York City because you had all these different jam sessions that would happen every single night. I had also dabbled just a little bit in computer science, just enough to sort of learn how to program and get kind of interested. Something about the atmosphere of being a PhD student appealed to me. I moved out to San Francisco a year in advance of when I would start my PhD. And I ended up getting involved in a startup that was founding right around that time. As part of the stimulus package, Obama had included this clause called Meaningful Use, which is about making electronic health records more useful to people. Even before I had like the right vocabulary or even knew what I was doing in terms of the right tools, that was addressing certain kinds of problems that you might describe as like medical informatics type problems. And I knew that I wanted to do a PhD in machine learning and study sort of artificial intelligence. What's exciting about research, identifying a problem, working through it, running experiments that really support that what you're doing makes sense, writing up a paper, submitting it, actually going through the peer review process, having to defend your work, having to present your work. You can go through that whole thing maybe multiple times per year. You don't have success in research because you become a master of every single aspect of every single problem. You just have to pick one problem that other people overlooked and you make a dent on it. Even before I knew how to train a model, I identified a problem and how people evaluate them. And it was just enough like red meat that I was able to like nail this argument, work it out, come up with some experiments that supported it. I got a paper published. And that was like within six months of starting PhD. You can work at companies and do research now. The likelihood that you'll be able to get into that kind of position is a lot greater if you have a PhD. I was three and a half years into PhD and not exactly thinking about graduating. I had just done a long internship at uh, Microsoft Research and was uh, planning to just get back home. And I got like a message, I got an email to interview for this position and they asked me to come interview at CMU. So I've been a professor at Carnegie Mellon since January 2018. At CMU, we have amazingly good PhD students. You teach them and you invest a ton of time with them and then you write the second paper and they've learned. And they're even like calling you on things that like you know that you know that they learned it because you taught them, you know, they've become like a peer. When you suddenly have like real people's lives in your hands, you have to think, I'm dealing with a causal problem. If I intervene, if I change the protocol, how is this going to influence what actual people die or don't die? The cool thing about working in the medical informatics space is that the problems actually matter. 